In today's video, I will help you guys add some extra dimensions to your workplace by listing what I think are the best portable monitors in 2022. Whether you are a traveling programmer, a gamer, or a designer, there will be something for you for sure. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these portable monitors, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. There's a lot to like about this stylish yet portable monitor. Whether you're using it for work or just personal stuff, that's the Lenovo Think Vision M14 and I have it listed as the best all-rounder. We all like the fancy dual-screen monitors when they were first released, but being able to take them anywhere you go is just even better. That's what the Lenovo Think Vision offers us, a compact and lightweight design with nice image quality. Measuring only 3.82 to 12.72 to 8.23 inches in length, weight and height and uh, weighing only 1.3 pounds make it, makes it one of the thinniest and lightest monitors you will find. You can slip it in a bag and you will barely notice it there. Since it is a portable device, it even looks stylish. It comes in black color and uh, with bezels that are nice and small, barely noticeable. And there's also a kickstand that folds. You can adjust it between minus 5 degrees and 90 degrees for extra flexibility and it is rubberized for a better grip. It comes in an IPS panel with a display itself being 14 inches and an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. It offers full HD resolution with a 6ms response time. Lenovo claims 300 nits brightness with nice colors of 99% sRGB and 75% Adobe RGB. The screen has a matte finish so you won't have any issues with the glare unlike the glossy screens. Simply put, the Think Vision M14 really does provide what is set out to do. Pros. Great kickstand with flexibility, bright and warm colors, and slim and light. Cons. It only has USB-C and DisplayPort 1.2 and limited on customization. Next, we have a nice 15.6-inch portable monitor that is feature-packed like inbuilt speakers and a darn touch screen that's none other than the Asus Zen Screen MB16 AMT15. I have it listed as the best for creatives. The Zen screen is a touch and stylish travel monitor to help you with more screen real estate. It will keep things simple and neat thanks to its slim and light profile. It is housed in an elegant gray silver frame and measures 19.1 to 12.01 to 2.99 inches with a weight of 1.98 pounds. Since it is barely larger than a Surface Book, it fits easily into a backpack or a briefcase. The body itself is built from aluminum and it gives it a nice in-hand feeling besides making it really sturdy and firm. On the sides, it has a couple of modern looking buttons with a textured metallic finish. It comes only in two ports, a micro HDMI one and a USB-C that supports display port. To be honest, the only ports you need to reduce all the unnecessary clutter. It comes with an IPS panel and the viewing angles are great and come in handy when you share the screen. At heart, it is a 15-inch touch-sensitive monitor with a max resolution of 1920 to 1080. The touchscreen just was nice and joyful to use, either it was swiping or tapping. Definitely a thing for the creatives to look forward to. Oh, also there's a stylus too as an additional thing uh, it has. Nevertheless, it is a portable monitor that you should not miss out on if it meets your requirements. Pros, gesture-based touchscreen, built-in speakers. Cons. A bit pricey and display could have been better. Next on the list, we have an option that is compatible with almost anything. You name it. PCs, the <laughs> phones and Nintendo Switch, not a problem. PS, Xbox, for sure. And that's the Lipo Z1 Game Mode 15. I have it listed as the most versatile option. Lipo Z1 is a revamped and upgraded version of its predecessor. That was well made and designed. But the Gamut version is looking forward to bringing us more value to the table at a lower price. It has a simple design that has relatively thin bezels and ports on the side. Uh, and it comes with a magnetic folio that can be used as a stand as well. It measures 14.2 to 8.8 to 0.34 inches and weighs only uh, 1.7 pounds. Easily accommodate every suitcase and backpack and stretch free when you are holding it for a long period. The build quality overall is great. It comes in a metal frame that feels firm and sturdy. Uh, sturdy. With a fully functional Type-C port and HDMI port, Li Pao uh, gives us portability and gaming on the go. Tossing it in the back with your console and heading to a friend Li Pao promises great quality and fun time. It also promises a stunning image quality with its 15.6 Full HD IPS screen that has a max resolution of 1920 to 1080 and 178 degree visual angle that will help a bunch of people to share the screen at the same time. 
Along with the monitor itself, you get another extra, which is a transparent plastic screen to help you protect it from minor scratches and to keep the dust off. Overall, I think it's a portable monitor that brings a lot of value to the table for the price. For light gaming and such, don't miss out on the Leapau Z1. Pros. Good reflection handling, it is quite robust, a nice amount of ports, and cons, low screen brightness and no flexibility. If you never heard of the next one, I will shock you for sure. I mean, it did shock me that I nearly fell out of the chair. A freaking 17-inch, 240Hz portable monitor. Unbelievable. Asus ROG lineup says otherwise. Believable with its Asus ROG Strix XG17AHP, which I have it listed as the best gaming portable monitor. I'm well aware there are a lot of people who dislike portable monitors, even hate on them. But Asus ROG proved to us that some portable monitors might not be a joke at all. A hooping 240Hz refresh rate along with the 3ms response time in a slim and thin 17-inch display? Yeah, that's right, it already silenced the haters. Anyway, let's continue with it, its design. The ROG Strix XG17 has a sleek design with the thin bezels and great build quality. It measures 15.71 to 9.86 to 0.39 inches and weighs only 2.34 pounds. It comes in all black color and on the back it has the cool logo of ROG and that has RGB on it making it screen gaming monitor thanks to it. It also comes with a folio stand that can also be used as a screen protector during travels. That said, something that makes it even cooler, there's also a tripod mount that is available and it offers excellent ergonomics. But you can also mount it on basic camera tripods, a unique feature I must say. More importantly, the screen is just amazing. A 17.3 inch Full HD IPS display with the max resolution of uh, 1920 to 1080 and a 3 ms response time for smooth gaming visuals. Definitely not something you will see on a portable monitor. Also what I mentioned earlier is the darn 240Hz refresh rate that minimizes ghosting. I just simply don't know what to say more. In one word, this is amazing. Pros. Nice amount of ports, built-in speakers, and great refresh rate and response time. Whereas for the cons, a bit expensive, and without the tripod, the stand is questionable. Next, we have the HP Elite Display S14, a simple portable monitor that makes great use for business. And that's why I have it listed as best for business. The HP Elite Display S14 makes a great second monitor for getting work done on the go if only the display of the monitor is not enough. To be thin and slim for a portable device is the name of the game. An Elite Display S14, a portable monitor plays that game just fine, measuring 15.71 to 9.86 to 0.39 inches and weighing only 2.34 pounds. Makes it compact enough that you can slip it anywhere, not in your pocket though. It has a 14-inch IPS display panel with an LED backlight and a max resolution of 1920-1080. The display also comes with a folding cover that protects the screen when you don't use it. Besides that, the display has a nice anti-glare matte finish, and the IPS panel offers great viewing angles. Sadly, it uses only a single USB-C port to deliver power. But still, it proved to be a great portable monitor to get things done in the go, since when we move a lot, the only thing that stops our productivity is the small single display. Pros, slim compact design, easy and simple setup, and great design that blends with uh, any laptop. Cons, doesn't have much flexibility, cover doesn't protect much, and OSD buttons are a bit tricky to reach. And with that being said guys, we reached the bottom of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, and peace out.